Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing another watch review. This, as much as it has a brand name, it's not a brand name if you understand. First of all, just want to say right now, my camera angle is going to be a bit more different because as you see, I've got two of my hands here. I'm using my microphone arm and part of a monitor type arm thing as well. I ordered it off Amazon so that I can use it for these watch videos, but I can't use one part because the second part's not came in yet. So I ordered two things together to make one thing. Tell me if you like it. So today we are going to be doing a review on... You'll need to tell me in the comments below what this name says because I can't actually read it myself. So I'll give you it in different lightings just to let you see. I don't actually know the name of it and it's not actually got a brand name on it either. So I'll get into this. So first of all, yes, you may be wondering, oh, it's a chronograph. No, no, no. These dials do not work. There's no button here. Well, there's the crown. Nothing else. This button we'll get into in a second. So it's a quartz movement, as you can see. I'll let this just stay here so you can see it. It is a quart. The dial. It's a nice black dial, very nice indeed. It's got chrome finish, but it's this watch literally cost me like three pound. So as much as it's going to be a short review, it's going to be a good review as well because of the fact that it has a special feature. But these dials do not move, so they're more just for show. Three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, twelve o'clock, and all the rest are just hidden. So. It's got a chrome finish, so it's basically like a polished finish all the way through. You can see me in the camera. We'll get into that in a second. I'm going to be using the camera quite a lot for this, but taking it off, it's just a nice uh, tucking kind of strap, so it's not actually anything fancy. Just for the camera, I'm going to be putting it on my right. That's what it says, so I don't know if that's like the actual brand of it. Or not, but you can see it, and as you can tell by the top, it is a later watch. So it says all the way around. But since my camera is facing a bird's eye view, I cannot actually show you it properly because then I'll fog my camera up. But that's what it's like. So you push this down, and you hear the click. But I can't do it right at my lens because that'll break it, or I'll probably do something to it. But I will get a few shots after I've done this recording. I'll put a recording in at the top one of the two so you can see it. But you can adjust it, and this side here, you can adjust, you can put lighter fluid in it as much as you want. You can adjust it with a screwdriver to, for the flame to be bigger or smaller. And overall, it's a nice looking watch. But wearing it on the wrist, so I'm just going to put it on my right just for the fact of this video. Plus, if you do not know already, I am not a normal person, so I wear my watch on my right hand. It's okay, roast me in the comments, I don't care. So, it's very, very big, so I bought a... Um, Thing to test the size of it just to see what it looks like. I bought this thing off Amazon. It is electric digital caliber, obviously. Shows you millimeter and inches. Cost me about £6. So I will go and try it so I can show you what this is like. So thickness weighs, it's 45mm, which is the same as my skeleton watch. The thickness is approximately 17.1mm. Thickness including the crim. Sorry the camera shake, it's my first time trying this. It's about 47.6mm. It's a nice rubber strap, forgot to mention. Very nice, it's the best rubber strap I've seen. Band width, so that is 21mm. Overall, a very nice watch. And it is, do you know what? I bought it on Wish, so I can actually say it is a cheap watch for, I think it was like £3, but it is worth it. £3 or £6, one of the two. I'm pretty sure it was £3. Hopefully, you'll enjoy, and I will see you in the next video, whenever that is. Sorry, my uploads are a bit weird just now, but. I'm kind of trying to space out because I've got a few watches I can show but I'm trying to space them out. But I'm recording all of them at once. So yeah, see you in the next video. Bye!